Oh. The bridge is so scary. It's so scary, Mom. It's so scary. You can't walk on the Hopi Gray Bridge. No. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm such a scaredy cat. Good morning, everyone. Are you new here? If you are, you should consider clicking that subscribe button because we are on our third video of our Alaskan adventures. We kick things off by really taking in all of the mountains and all of the glaciers. What you saw there was a flight out of the Palmer 
Alaska area and we went all the way out to a bunch of different glaciers. We landed at three different spots, the final one being on the Kinnick Glacier. And I've never seen glaciers up close and personal like that, but it was pretty incredible. Camber wants to be in the video. Camber is up for adoption. Find the link here. Come on. You wanna be in the video? Come here, come here. Uh there you go. So if you guys can ever explore the Alaskan mountains and landscape and stuff by helicopter, I would highly recommend it. It was fairly expensive, but it's an experience that you can't really get any other way. So it was amazing and I would definitely do it again. Oh, hi. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> so we are now continuing on our kind of like coastal town tour through like the whole bottom part of Alaska. And we have now made our way all the way down to Valdez, which is another really popular area, another fishing town. So we're sitting here overlooking one of the harbors and massive mountains. I didn't film any more mountains on the way in because we were actually scoping out some spots to camp at tonight. So there's a good chance we're gonna be camping up there. And we'll show you guys that stuff in a little bit, but. There's a bird landed on a super duty over there. <laughs> there's birds everywhere. We passed a ton of waterfalls, more glaciers actually. I don't even know how many glaciers we've seen at this point, probably like seven or eight. And I think tonight's camp spot is gonna be a pretty good one. After this, we have one more town to check out, which might be one of the best ones. It's been recommended by a few people locally, and I'm really looking forward to that one. So come with us as we explore the Valdez a little bit. We're gonna grab some food and then hopefully find a really rad camp spot for tonight so I can work, we can recoup, some of us can shower. <laughs> yep, yep, you, Thank you. you. Do I have anything in my tea first? Mm. Mm. No, I don't think so. So good. So good. What you got there, bud? Walking crate. Let's see it. I don't know how many you do. Anything on my upper lip. How's your crate? It's so sweet. Camera wants some. Camera, do you want a crate? Sit. Gentle. Gentle. Good girl. Yes. All done. So we walked around Valdez for a little while. Cool, quaint little town, but I think the drive in is probably the best part of this area. Wait till you see this. Woo! That's a waterfall. That's a waterfall? Yeah. That's a fun door. We're jumping forward one more time because we are now at our camp spot for the night. A little scouting on the way in. This spot is super easy to see and this might be one of the coolest camp spots that we have ever been in. Wait till you see this view. This might be like top three camp spots of all time. And it's really easy to get here. Other than driving. 4,000 miles. <laughs> yeah. We've got one other friend out here parked out on this ridge. That spot might arguably be better than even the one that we're in, but. But I'm here, so this one's better. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Now, I would like to do some more like trails and off roading and stuff up here in Alaska, but. Like I mentioned in a previous video, the trail systems up here aren't quite the same as the lower 48, so there's not a whole lot to choose from, at least not in the areas that we've been. We made our way in on this little trail, rutted, bumpy, just kind of typical stuff. Kind of feels like Colorado a little bit. 
and we picked the spot that we did back there because we have a little snow drift across here still and it is now june 17th and if i had to guess that probably might be there until it starts snowing again we're not even that high in elevation we're probably at like 2500 3000 feet but we're coming from sea level and that's what makes these mountains up here look so incredible because a lot of the peaks are pretty tall some of them can be 10,000 feet plus we passed the 16,000 footer on the way in here and of course Mount McKinley Denali is here 20,000 feet tallest peak in America but it's different when you are almost at sea level looking up at some of these peaks because they're massive maybe not quite as big as what we see in Colorado but in Colorado you're already looking at them from like a mile high or higher it's all about perspective guys it is almost 10 o'clock at night and I hate that this is the reality but I do have to work and make these videos while we're on the road so I just sat in here for how long have we been here three four hours I've been sitting here working the whole time I did step out to take some photos like as the Sun was setting and it's still so insane up here this has got to be one of the best camp spots ever so yeah, I've been working and I'm uploading only the second video of this trip right now when we did the Dalton Highway. If you guys haven't caught that yet, it will be up when this video is up. So you can click on the link right there and check it out. I don't know if any of these other videos are gonna top that one. It was a long video, which hopefully you guys are okay with, but it was so far probably one of my favorite parts of the whole trip. Yeah. The whole trip has been amazing, but. Because we're here? because you and Camber are here. I'm honestly not even really that hungry, which is why we're not cooking dinner. We did eat when we were in Valdez, but with the way things have been going, we've been trying to get as much sleep as possible, and then we wake up and start our day kind of late. Tomorrow we've got maybe a four hour drive to the next place that we're going, and chances are by the time we get there, it will be afternoon already, and I need some kind of food. This ramen's got to hold me over until 3 o'clock tomorrow, probably. Oof. Now I feel like I haven't been showing you guys enough of like the living portion while we're out here doing all this stuff, so I'm just going to show you guys what we've been doing every night before we go to bed. I keep all of my toiletries in this Step 22, I believe this is the tortoise roll, hedgehog hedgehog toiletry roll and it's perfect because it has everything that I need in here vitamins and toothbrush and deodorant and I just hang it on this hook right here so I can get ready for bed use the sink I got a mirror right here it's convenient vitamins k2 d3 I would say like how much of the US population miss nurse is vitamin D deficient I think it's 
what, 70%, if not more, 70 to 90%? Probably. I bet you watching this video right there, you need some D vitamin in your life. I went to the doctor. Oh, do they? Yeah. Some of that vitamin D. <laughs> so yeah, vitamins, toothbrush and stuff. That's basically it. I leave this out until the morning so I can brush my teeth again and put deodorant on and do all that good put stuff. Put deodorant on. Yeah, you should learn a thing or two about putting deodorant on. You still didn't shower. You stink. Baby wipes don't count. After I do this whole routine thing here, then that's basically it. That's all I do. And then you have a f***ing 50-step program <laughs> where you put all this bubble on your face and use these little rollers made out of gemstones it's bullshit. i don't use jade rollers i gua sha oh gua sha she gua sha's it's a lymphatic drainage it's lymphatic legit. drainage it's legit what is it guafa <laughs> guafa bon qui qui <laughs> Ooh. Oof. this is steaming Ow, that is hot. I'll try to eat it. One bite. Everyone knows the rules. It's not as good when you do it in the microwave. It's spicy. Prime video. Pass me the remote, please. One more quick look at this beautiful view out here. It's over here. Still jealous of our neighbor over there. I could take some dope photos of his van with the moon right there. Crazy out here. And then we have this view. So beautiful, right Cam? You got eye boogers. If you guys haven't heard, The Boys has a new season out. Season 4, 3 episodes right now. And there's going to be more coming. So, we are going to catch up on these probably gonna fall asleep in like 15 minutes but <laughs> it's the reality of things need to get some of this light out of here and we will check in with you guys tomorrow morning good morning again everyone we woke up in the clouds and this looks pretty cloudy and foggy right now but it was way worse <laughs> even earlier this morning. We ended up watching some shows and stuff until about like one, almost two o'clock in the morning. And I watched this huge cloud roll up through the valley and it looked like some Silent Hill stuff. It's kind of crazy. I'm not even that far from the van and it's like slowly disappearing back there. Since we found probably the best spot on this entire trip, we decided to just sleep in a little bit. We were up late. It is beautiful up here, even though you can't see anything right now. So it is already 12.30 in the afternoon. Can't even really tell because at two, the sun was still kind of shining through all of these clouds and you don't really have a good sense of what time of day it is, but birds are chirping. Pretty sure we're the only ones up here on this ridge now. And it is time that we actually hit the road now. You ready, Cam? You're ready. Whew. That was not bad. It's a little cold. It looks a little cold. And a lot of fog. Now our stop for today is going to be the small town of McCarthy, which is like a dirt road all the way in there. And it looks like it's a dirt road for a while. We are probably four and a half hours from that spot right now. And what's today? Today is Tuesday. We have until Saturday, technically, to cross the border. So we are really gonna take our time now. If we find another really cool camp spot like this, we might just snag it before we even get to wherever we're going today. But I do wanna get food. We do have some food to cook in here too though. So the world is our oyster. Alaska is our oyster today, Cam. Are we getting oysters? We probably won't get oysters today. Dang
few hours later and we have almost made it to McCarthy. I didn't realize this, but you can't drive into the town. So we're walking across a raging river right now. Sorry, that was kind of loud. So, we made it out here. You have to walk the rest of the way into town and it's a really small town. There's an old mine here called Kennecott Mine, which we might check out. It's about five miles upriver towards a massive glacier over there. And we decided since we have to pay for parking here, we might as well just stay for the night. So we got a little camp spot, kind of like dispersed camping right along the lake over here. Beautiful view of the glacier. And now we're walking into town. Okay, so that was McCarthy. <laughs> you guys saw maybe 10 seconds of it. There's mosquitoes everywhere, but. Mosquitoes everywhere. Are you drunk, buddy? I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Camber. So this was a great stop, recommended by a friend, but also it's one of the best stops because there are dogs Whoa. allowed. My oh no, at the bar? Oh my God, she's getting her sunglasses. Camber, ready? Go get her. So I was saying, McCarthy was great because everything here is dog friendly, which is surprisingly not the case in Alaska everywhere. No. So we went to the potato. The potato. Banging food. It was very good. Because you got bangers and mash. I had bangers and mash. They had live <laughs> music. We went to the Golden Saloon and they are dog friendly too. So the whole town just loves their dogs. <laughs> yeah. Rum. Anyone who lives in the McCarthy area, they have dogs and they just never have them on a leash. They're never inside. They can just go and roam around while their owners go to work and they're all friends. And it's this little secluded town in Eastern Alaska. It's great. It's great. Oh. The bridge is so scary. It's so scary, mom. It's so scary. You can't walk on the open gray bridge. No. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm such a scaredy cat. Oh my God, look at these skeeters. Oh, Cam. Cam, like nope. Come on, Cam. Come on. Oh my God, look at them. Ah! You're so good, Cam. Good girl. You're doing so good. So I'm your tour guide. Here's a river. That's a glacier. Those are mountains. 
This is Ashley. And that's Camber. So welcome to the McCarthy Kennecott Campground. The end of the road where you have to park before you go into McCarthy proper. There's a lot of stuff here. A lot of campers. You could rent e-bikes. E-bikes by Mike. By Mike to tour the mine. You can park here for 24 hours. Or you can camp. Camping means you drive out here to the lake, the glacier lake, and just kind of park wherever, which is cool. I like it. Typically I don't like paying for like campground areas, but in a place like this, it's small town people living here almost year round, I would gladly pay 20, 30 bucks to camp here to support what they're doing because everything around here is super clean. You got a yeah. glacier view. That outhouse wasn't bad. I've peed and worse. Ashley experienced the outhouse. Camber, you experienced the outhouse. And then everything after this is just wild open camping, so. This is midnight in Alaska right here. Cam, do you know where we're going? Hurry. Ugh. Ouch. Ow, mosquito. Here's the deal. Mosquitoes everywhere. It's Alaska in June, obviously. I'm getting bit everywhere. Oh my God, dude. Yeah. We're gonna make a s'more assembly line. I'm gonna run outside, set up the lava box, to make s'mores. This is so stupid. Best and then, Beyonce ever. We're gonna make s'mores. I'm gonna run inside with a burning marshmallow. Give them to Ashley. And we're gonna eat s'mores. I need the stick. Oh, I need the stick. Give me the stick. And the mallow. Hurry up. No, no, no. Just give me the stick. You gotta hold on to this. <laughs> Hold on to this till I get the fire set up. Oh my god, dude. Okay, here we go. Bad audio time. Ready whenever you are. Yeah, I'm so ready right now. How many mallows do you want at once? I'm afraid they're all gonna stick together. When you have a nice rain jacket like this, these skeeters ain't no problem. Skeeters ain't no problem. I present to you the power of the lava box. You think we could have s'mores at our wedding? Use code TALENTSI for 15% off your order. Or don't, I don't care. If you like saving money, cool. If not, whatever. All right, give me one at a time. One at a time. I'm gonna burn one and throw it in there. Do you want me to burn it, burn it? Burn it, burn it. I mean, that's easy to do. You grab the worst stick. There's trees everywhere here. Are you shit talking my stick? Yeah. Dude. Here you go, Bert. Mallow. Right. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. One, two, three, go. Go, go, go. go. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna roast this one a little more naturally. Give it a little color, a little golden color to it, you know? That's. What are you doing? It got my ankle. Skeeters? Yeah. In the van? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna burn this one. Make it quick. Ow, ow, it's hot. Ow, blah, blah, blah. So hot. Ow. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh. It's a fail. It's a fail. Okay. It's a fail. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's gonna stain. Oh my god. <laughs> you ruined the inhabit floor mat. Sorry, Hold Brian. Still. Oh, Camber, yeah, you can totally lick that up. All right, I'm gonna take my time with these. These are mine. Oh my, my god. My Molly. Dude. Are you ready for my marshmallow? Ready. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. One more. No, two more. Two more. One, two, three. Oh! Skeeters. Everywhere. Got it. We did it. That's how you make s'mores in mosquito infested Alaska. How was it? So great. It, it was, was great. great. <laughs> All right, official taste test. Welcome to Testings. 
Ooh, we could do a test tease. Ready? Ready. Mmm. Hot. <laughs> They're so good. These are good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your hard work. How many s'mores is too many s'mores? Mm -hmm. I love s'mores. It's funny because everyone thinks living in a van is like, oh, drive to a mountain lake, go skinny dipping, eat marshmallows and s'mores. Our two week journey is complete. We still have another week because now we're headed back into Canada. We actually decided to stay in McCarthy another day because of the dogs, the food was really good, and honestly we needed at least one day to just kind of chill out before this drive back. So we've been on the road for about seven hours from McCarthy all the way up around the mountains, and the Yukon is right there. So we're not gonna cross the Canadian border through like customs for another 20 miles or so, but we are officially heading back into Canada and Alaska was incredible. We hit everything that we wanted to and basically every town that is probably worth seeing. I definitely wouldn't want to do this trip with less time than what we had because we would have missed a lot, but feel pretty, pretty fulfilled. Feel like we did everything that we could. And now we're gonna see what British Columbia has to offer. Cam, you peeing in Canada? Cam just peed in two countries at once. <laughs> <laughs> so that is all for the Alaska portion of this mini series. We probably still have maybe another video or two on our way back to Colorado. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed these kind of longer videos of us just hanging out, living life out of the van on the road. The rest of my summer is pretty open. I have no big travel plans or anything. So let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. And we're going to get back into some more regular truck content. There will still be some van stuff occasionally, yeah, trucks. but trucks. All right, that's all. If you're new here, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. As always, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.